guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. And yes, I'm wearing the same top that I was wearing in my last video or last to last video. It is the same day, and I love the off sleeves trend, like the straight kind of a trend. So, whatever, how does it matter? We are friends, right? So, it works, right? So, as the title says, today I'm going to be reviewing the new lipsticks by Sugar Cosmetics. And if you saw my fab bag, then you know that I was so excited when I got one of the lipsticks, which was Mad which was Mad Magenta. So, I got the entire pack of these lipsticks from Sugar Cosmetics. And thank you, Sugar, for sending these across. I got to try all the four shades. And let's get started with the review. So, the first thing, as usual, Packaging is amazing. I love how they make it so modern and chic. So yeah, that was the packaging of the box. I think you can get it on Nika.com. By the way, I went to a Nika event. It was so cool. Anyways, so yeah, that is the packaging. And I'm not getting paid for the video. So whatever I say is my opinion. Though I wish I was getting paid, but I'm not. So let's get started. Look at this. The packaging of the lipsticks is also so like very cool they maintain the same kind of vibe in all their products we were talking about packaging right we have to talk about these beautiful matte square tubes so first of all it's not that i don't love the usual packaging of lipsticks but this is super cool this is how uh, the tube looks like it is so classy i love that it's matte because you don't have the option of you know scratching it it gets all ratchet after a few uses so that is amazing let me get the full name of the lipstick the lipstick is called it's a Time Vivid Lipstick and let's get into the shades. Coming to the colors, there are four colors. The first one is called Breaking Bear 02 and I'm going to insert a picture on how it looks on my lips. I was expecting a completely nude matte but this is different. It's kind of like, you know, rusty, orangey kind of undertones and it is good. When you don't want to go all dark with your lipstick, then this is amazing. This color is Caroline in the City 04. Second shade is this gorgeous orangish red kind of a shade. And when I saw it, I was like, okay, there's another simple uh, orange color. But the color looks pretty different when it's on. I'm actually going to insert a picture so that you can see what it looks like um, on the left. And then to the third color, and the third color is called Mad Magenta. Now this is like out there, bam, pink color. It is gorgeous and it's a little darker, I would say, as compared to their lip crayons. But it looks very pretty on. It's perfect for spraying if you're all like into pink tones. And you can see how it looks like on my lips. shade and the shade which I'm wearing throughout the video is called uh, the Big Bang Berry. Now this is for all the people who love berry tones although like winter is over in Delhi but I'm still loving the dark lips and the berry tones so this is how it looks. I'm going to show you how it looks in the tube as well. So uh, this is how the berry color looks like and yeah you can actually see a picture of me in it. very familiar with the shades let's talk about uh, the formula so these uh, lipsticks first when I read the name I thought okay these are like kind of creamy or glossy lipsticks because they're called vivid lipsticks so I had that idea in mind when I applied and the first shade actually which I used was this nude color so the lipsticks are fabulously pigmented. These actually are way, way, way more pigmented as compared to their lip crayons. And these have this creamy texture to them. So the moment you touch it, if you just like, like touch your finger on the lipstick, you'll get a lot of product. So you just need one swipe and you will have a complete opaque kind of a uh, lip color on. And even the nude lipstick, although it's not very really light, but still it covers all the pigmentation on the lips. So you don't really have to worry about that. Another thing, although I am always scrubbing my lips, but even if you don't have, uh, like, if you have a little dry patches on your lips or you have a little dry skin hanging on your lips, these lipsticks still work amazingly. You don't really have to worry about them. Just put it on and they look amazing. As far as the bleeding is concerned, the lipsticks don't bleed out of the lips anyhow. It's, like, already very, very hot here in Delhi. And I don't see any kind of bleeding of the lip or the lipstick like uh, getting removed from the center which happens quite a lot especially when it comes to the matte shades i already ate a few snacks and i already had a little bit of water with this lipstick on and as you can see nothing is gone so yeah 
So that is another plus word else. Um, the lipsticks are not drying at all. So if you are you love matte lipsticks but you don't like that that feeling that liquid lipstick gives, then these are amazing. Uh, but yes, if you are into you know those kind of waterproof, smudge proof, you know kind of lipsticks that just set and you can touch it and it never transfers, that is not the case with these. These definitely transfer, but uh, you would feel that there's no product on the lips. They have a very slight stain, so if you're trying to remove the lipstick, your lips will still have a little stain, which is good. Actually, it is good for people like me who uh, managed to like remove the lipstick very soon. So yeah. The pros and cons, uh, great packaging, very, very pigmented lipsticks, 100% matte, creamy formula, so they're very comfortable. Stays on for the entire day, doesn't bleed out of your lips and does not get into the dry patches, which is the best. Like, you know, with matte lipsticks, the only problem is that it gets clinged to dry patches and it looks very bad. So yeah, and it does get worn out from the center of the lips, which generally happens with matte lipsticks. So yeah, that is a plus as well. Bonds, I would say that few colors, I need four, I'm not satisfied with four, I need more colors in the range. And the second thing is that if you're looking for a formula which does not transfer, then this is not the one, it definitely transfers. And that's all about Sugar Cosmetics, it's about time vivid lipsticks. And my final thought is definitely give it a try. I am loving how the companies are coming up with very wearable kind of matte lipsticks. You don't really have to go through that pain of scrubbing our lips and like taking the time to put on the perfect liquid lipsticks because the liquid lipsticks, if they go anywhere outside the lips, they look very bad. So yeah, that is good. Definitely give it a try. I would say that if you really want to try something, then my favorite shade is that bear again, I think it was called. Uh, let me actually look for it. So my favorite shade is uh, Breaking Bear. It is such a gorgeous, rusty kind of bear. I love it. I think it's, it is, you know, kind of wearing dark lipstick in summer because it's not too dark, but it's not too light. So yeah, give them a try. And also, you know, I like these lipsticks way more as compared to the Sugar's crayons. They were good, but these are fab. So give them a try and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.